contrarian, leave it to contrarian badass Reggie Middleton. She called the housing crash. She called the collapse of Bear Stearns and Lehman Brothers and the crisis in the Eurozone banking system. So you're talking about, if I'm writing, reading you correctly, Trump for you will uh, give way to T rash or trash. Okay, yeah. what? It's a contrarian view. What's going on? Um, I don't think it's contrarian among the fundamental guys. Basically, uh, the market has been shooting up and going up and up and up because Trump got elected. Um, the there's some fundamental reasons behind this. For instance, the financials. If you take a look at Trump's appointees, it's his cabinet and his advisory staff is chock full of ex Goldman executives. Now, if you look at Goldman stock, Goldman stock is very happy, and there's a fundamental reason. There's an obvious reason for that. But now, if, if the stocks shoot up 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 percent, do you really think that the earnings are going to shoot up that in a concomitant amount in a short period of time? Of course not. And even if they do, it may work for Goldman, it's going to work for the entire financial sector? No. And even if it works for the entire financial sector, which it probably won't in a short amount of time, is it going to work for the entire S&P 500? Probably not. Um, he's going to repeal regulation, or attempt to. That's going to take time, repealing the vocal rule, et cetera. Some of that stuff, it's overdone. Most regulation is overdone. But usually, it's there for a reason. And we all know that Wall Street can, of course, be trusted you know, to a T um, not to do anything wrong. So repeal the vocal rule and all the, all the regulation. Wall Street's not going to overlever. They're not going to sell bad products. They're not going to do anything wrong. You know, so everything is awesome, like the Lego movie. <laughs>